so what I'm going to do today is show you how to use okay Photoshop and how to make a double page spread using Photoshop. So I'm going to share my screen with you guys so you all can see that. The very first thing that you do with Photoshop is you are going to go to file new, file new, uh, and in the name you can say double page spread, double page spread, because that's essentially what we're doing. Should really be all right. And then we're going to change it to millimeters, and it's going to be 490 by two, well, by 300, 490 by 300. OK, and we're going to keep it at white there in terms of the background content and then we can click OK. And then it comes up with your double page spread. Now, a very, very important thing that you need to do, obviously, when it comes like this, you might want to zoom in at certain points. So hold down Alt and scroll on your keyboard and you'll be able to zoom in and zoom out accordingly to how you want it to be. The next thing that you're going to do is go to view and then once you've gone under the tabs there at the top with you, you've got to make sure that the ruler, the rulers are ticked. OK, you can also press Control R, as it says, with the shortcut. So you get the ruler ticked. Now, the first ruler that you want to have is the ruler that's going to be in the middle. OK, so you want to choose the exact middle there and drag it from the side and there. If you need any more different rulers, like for your title and stuff like that, then you can obviously put so I'm going to do a nice bold title at the top there I'm going to get a ruler for that as well and I am I want a ruler as well for where my columns are going to go so I'm going to get a ruler there and a ruler there that's rough roughly as it is and I'm also going to get a ruler here because my introduction so the article is going to go here. That's not going to be the same for this side, but it's going to be the same for that side. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is obviously you guys need to go and get original images, but I'm going to go and paste uh, an image. In fact, this ruler is a little bit to the side, but that should be fine. Obviously, when you print this, it won't come up with the blue line. So I'm going to go and get a picture of Drake. OK, for example, we're going to use Drake. Uh, and I'm going to use this one for double post spread. Yours is going to be original. I'm going to copy image and I'm going to put the image into the double post spread. I'm going to press Control T in order to change the size of the image. Control T to change the size of the image. OK, and I can transform it so it's correct for the double page spread as it stands. Double page spreads don't have to be exactly to the measure. You know, sometimes things overlap. But I'm going to have it like that to start with. OK, now I'm going to press enter. So I apply it. And that's the first bit there. The image is going to go here. Now I'm going to go and get the title and put the title at the top. OK, now I've shown you before how to get used titles and get titles from different places such as uh, the font. But we're going to go and get a title here. here. And we're going to put a title from Photoshop, OK? And I'm just going to have a title, Drake. Spills the beans. OK, Drake spills the beans. Nice old title at the top there. Drake spills the beans. In fact, let's have an exclamation mark there just to further make it more engaging for the audience. Drake spills the beans. I'm going to do a little drop shadow as well. So I'm going to go onto my layers at the right hand side. Remember layers is of layers are very important. So I'm going to go right click on the layer for the Drake spills the beans. Go to blending options. And I'm going to put a drop shadow at the background. In fact, I'm going to make it look nice. So I'm going to copy the drop shadow from the same as the image. OK. Uh, the drop shadow is a little bit too bold for my liking, so I'm just going to change the opacity maybe a little bit, maybe the distance, you know, make it look nice, play with it. That's always the best thing is just to play with it and work out 
what exactly you want to do. So I've done that. Drake spills the beans from there. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a pull quote here. OK, you guys really need to think about what <laughs> what you're going to write. I'm just doing this, you know, for the example of uh, of the the to show you guys right now. But you guys can think about it carefully and I'm going to do a pull quote. OK, and I'm going to write. Um, uh, what should I write? I had. Uh, oops, I had to. Let right, let me just quickly change the size of that writing as well. Oops, what have I done there? Let's go back to the layer and let me change the size of the writing. Okay, change the size of the writing to 36. For now, anyway, change it to 36. I had to let them know all of my dirty secrets. Okay. Just something that's going to maybe shock or to further get people to be interested in what is actually going on. OK. You don't have to do exactly the same font, so let's change up the font a little bit. Otherwise, sometimes it's nice for it to be consistent but they vary the font than they really so i said i ha i've had to i had to let them know all of my dirty secrets i'm gonna change the blending option here to let's let's make it red so it really stands out and again i don't really want to i want the strength of the red to go through like that yeah so that looks quite bold I press control t because i want it to the size to be smaller really to be honest um and it's just about having to play around really so i'll put that there okay so you've got the pull quote there the next thing i'm going to do is i'm just going to now obviously i'm not going to go in and show you all the article bits here but what we're going to do is just going to get a text box for now text box for now and within that text box we're going to change the size to that's too big change the size to 24 let's just write get the writing so you guys you guys are going to spend your time ensuring that the article okay has the content that it needs but we're just going to do it for the visuals right now so we've got one side here Control C, Control V. Oh, didn't copy, copy the wrong thing there. Let me just go to the layer and press copy instead. What did they want me to? That's strange. Let's go to the layer. All right, let me just select it then and then press Control C, Control V. So that copies the I to select the area. Control C, Control V. Again, let's choose where this goes. I can roughly go there with a bit of gap. Control V again. So that's just showing where things are going to go and you can sort out where the article is. And obviously you need to write proper information. One of the other things that you would have here is if I go back to this one, you'd have a drop cap on the. On the first. H, that's a typical convention that you have with articles. So, well, not the first H, but the first letter of whatever is in the article. We can go back and sort that out a bit later. And then here is a little bit of introduction to the article. Um, so, Harry Bonds, obviously, you guys do this a lot better. Barry Bonds went to Toronto to speak to also I need to change the size here make sure it's appropriate size Barry Bonds went to speak to Drake that's not quite the right size really to be honest 
to speak to Drake. Out all things pop and all things hip hop. And then it might just say, you know, you have to check the conventions, it might say written. Or interviewed by Barry Barnes, you know, by Barry Bonds. So that's not quite perfect. OK, like I said, you've got to have time to check the articles. We have more lessons to make sure we get all of the conventions in there. But this we just need to get to start with. We don't need a drop cap as well there. We just need to get the. Oops. You need to get the first bit done okay so that's sort of looking like a double page spread to start with it can be better okay but i wanted to give you 10 minutes of the initial thing and then we can make improvements so title main image for double page spread pull quotes and the, and the articles okay um with the three columns that's enough for the first lesson okay so that is what i want to see i want to see layout added OK, with the title, the main image, the pull quote and where things are going to be laid out and then we'll go and refine the uh, double page spread. So that's all done in 10 minutes there. OK. Oops, what do I do? I'll put, turn the camera off. Uh, stop sharing. Right, guys, off you go.